In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate accumulated value of an annuity due. Now before we start answering the question that's prepared, remember that in our previous video we learned that an annuity due is a stream of periodic payments where each installment is made at the beginning of each period as opposed to at the end of each period. We'll talk a little bit more about that after we read the question, which says, Natalie deposits $1,000 per year for 10 years. Assume she begins making deposits today, and each deposit occurs at the beginning of each year. How much will she have accumulated by the end of year 10 if the interest, which is compounded annually, that's how it's denoted, is equal to 10%? So if these deposits were being made at the end of each period, we would use the ordinary annuity formula. And that's something we're used to using where you have the future value of the account is equal to the payments that you're making at the end of each period. And within the brackets, you have one plus I to the power of N minus one over I. The difference here is that the money is being deposited at the beginning of each period. Notice that we've stated that it's today. And so we'll be using the ordinary annuity due formula, which looks a little bit different than its counterpart. We have this factor of one plus I at the very end. So let's go ahead and answer this. The good thing about this is that the deposits, which are occurring once every year, and the interest correlate. Notice that the interest is being compounded yearly. If that weren't the case, then you would have to change the nominal interest into an interest rate that matches the cash flow. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this formula. We have the future value is equal to the payments being made, which are $1,000. And in parentheses, one plus, our interest is 10%. And because it's compounded annually, we don't need to divide the 10% by anything. So I'll write down 0 0.1, close parenthesis. And the amount of periods, since it's happening once every year for 10 years, that means n is equal to 10, minus 1 over 0 0.1 again. And this is then being multiplied to 1 plus i. So we have 1 plus 0 0.1. We'll go ahead and input this into our calculator. And I'm using a scientific calculator for this. So I'll have 1,000. And we open up that bracket. In addition, I'll put this expression, the numerator, within its own parentheses. So I'll open up the orange one and then the purple one again. So we're right here, 1 plus 0 0.1. And I'll raise that to an exponent of 10, minus 1, close the orange, divide by 0 0.1. And we close the purple, so we are right here. multiply two and in parentheses one plus 0 0.1. And this gives us a future value of 17, five, three, one point one seven. So hypothetically, had Natalie not put the $1,000 into an account that is compounded annually, after 10 years, she would have only accumulated $10,000 since 10 times 1,000 is 10,000. Here, however, if we subtract 10,000 from the value on our screen of 17,000 and some change, clearly she has made more than $7,500 worth of interest within that 10 year period. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate accumulated value of an annuity due.